Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and welcome back to my nice mic, not my stupid laptop mic. Anyway, we have to pick up where we left off, messing around with ancient doodads and doohickeys and all that and learning great secret knowledges and stuff. So hopefully you all enjoy and I'll be with you in a moment. Ah, we should do normal swords you're saying? Oops, kick the computer. Press many buttons at random. Okay, uh, uh, never mind. Can I leave? I want to leave. Leave the computer alone. I'm here. Are we gonna move yet, or what? There we go. Hmm. Talk to the computer. The computer goes silent and screen blank. A few from the usual characters then appear on the screen. The computer emits a rapid sequence of tones. You hear one of the tones softly echoed by your data pad. A small data receptacle opens in front of the agent machine. Oh. Um, insert my data pad into the receptacle. The computer seems to be interfacing with the data pad. The screen goes blank again. Then a more familiar character should begin to appear on the screen. <laughs> Um, talk to the computer. It seems to be processing data from my data pad. The data pad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes down for a moment before flickering to life again. Wow, okay, so if I had pulled it out too soon, it would not have been able to do the data correctly. Okay. Identify the three primary death giving seed world types? What? Volcanic, desert, and barren? Uh, volcanic, and uh, desert. Breaking death seal? What did I do? Oh, like, so that means that I won't die now? Like, just, that was one half of it, and I won't die. I did it! I did it, Rain! <laughs> Look at this symbol. Looks like a frog. Or a, like, a fighter. Like a, like a, like some sort of, like, super sci-fi fighter. Um, collect loot where? The droid, I couldn't click on the droid, though. Well, let me click on it. There is one more room. I'm gonna save again. I'm actually going to, um... Oh, dang. Alright, we're gonna go outside and fast travel, and then we're going to come back. So that way we, I can be healed up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bastula! Bastula! Where is she? Yes. You're so dumb. Come on. Cheesing the game? I mean, I do my best. I don't, I don't always succeed, but I do my best. She's behind me. That sounds absolutely terrifying. No, I didn't. She was like there because she was the only one not behind me. It Karth was behind me, not Bastila. I'm here. Where'd 
What an odd name, Bastila. I like it. It's an odd name. Save. Yes, you did. I saw. No, <laughs> I'm gonna argue. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you guys are the ones watching, and I historically have a precedent of not noticing things, um, that's, I'm gonna swords. When are you? Go with it. Um, vibro sword. Yeah. And then, Bastula. I'll give her the prototype one? Yeah. Oh yeah, well, and it's dumb that like, you have to gather your party to venture forth. I'm like, or, or, whenever I leave an area, you could just have my party members show up with me. Like, why? Why would you make me go, I'm here. go to that effort? Stim. I don't have any more stims, actually. Oh wait, I got that one. Let's go! Also, mm, do I have any shields? Mm, shield! Oh. Ooh, nice! Let's... Bachelor, oh. We did it. Hooray. Oh, hi. Oh. Sweet. Thank you. Can't pick anything up from this droid? No. Giant metal spiders on anybody. Larry, like, comes in from the void he's been in, and he's like, Why? Why would you do that? Be second droid. Spooks. For the spooks. Talk to the computer. Yeah. Um... Insert my data pad. Uh, talk to the computer. Yeah, we did it. Okay, okay. Identify the three primary life giving seed type oceanic, arboreal, and grassland. Breaking life seal. It's their Stonesmith! Stonesmith, I love it! Metal pieces turn into spiders if you leave them long enough. They regress to their natural form. I freaking love it. I mean, yeah, like, legit. I mean, it, you're, you're totally right. You did. That was all sorts of messed up. <laughs> I love it, though, Stone. I love the idea that, like... Metal's natural form is actually a spider, and if left long enough, it'll return to its natural form. You're right. Mm. Uh, save. <laughs> Bye, Shield Angel Archer. It was good to see you. Have a good day. Hi, droid. Uh, but I already did. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna open it now. I'm gonna open it. 
Bye bye. Oh, did it open? Or wait. Oh, okay. Now that's right. Okay. It's the ball from Mass Effect. This this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. What is it? Oh this wow! Look at me. I'm creepy. Map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So what is the Starforge exactly? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type. Or maybe a weapon. Let's follow them on the journey. So is it. This map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? Ooh, this pretty. Looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine. And here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data. And there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. Um, perhaps these worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge in some way to destroy it. We must inform hmm, the council okay. of what we've discovered. I wonder they if they. Next course of action. Though I suspect our task is only just I wonder if they messed it up themselves or if there were um or if it was always like that. You know what I'm saying? Dark side equals fun side. And they have cookies. Dark side cookies are the best one. <gasps> Tatooine for our first companion. Thank you, Rain. Rain, you're the best, Rain. I really want Parmesan bites. <laughs> I'm crying right now. Uh oh. <laughs> Why did you do that? You drank so much. This is so cool looking. Like, look how 3D it is. Look at that. This reminds me of Treasure Planet, which is one of my favorite movies, which I might actually watch tonight. It'd be cool if I could watch movies with you guys, too. Wouldn't that be weird? Isn't that just weird? You guys want to have a movie night? <laughs> I love Treasure Planet. It's such a good movie. Yay, Bamba! You like it, too? I also like Titan AE. I like those... That that, uh, that thing is... That that's who is that? Who is the director or whoever? Whoever the artist was, best the best artist ever. Can't remember his name. I think it was a dude. Movie night. <laughs> yeah, too much caffeine in the morning will mess you up. So I've heard. I am blessed with both the caffeine tolerance and intolerance. Movie night! That'd be so fun. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I love how passive aggressive this game is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All of a sudden, Bash just stops walking, and you like, you kind of hear her stop. I just picture it being like you hear her stop walking, and you slowly turn around, and she's just standing there staring at you, and you're like, Oh, Bastula, do you need anything? <laughs> oh, speak to Bastula. How can I help? How can I help? And then she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Uh, doesn't, uh, uh, I still don't understand this bond of ours. Our fates are strongly connected. 
So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. So now you ask me? It's been like forever. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I'm a hot in human form. <laughs> Oh, the same thing as the one between Kylo and Rey, and Rey in Last Jedi. So we can, like, see each other when we're far apart. And we're gonna have this weird moment where, like, I look at her shirtless and I'm like, could you put a shirt back on? That was one of the few parts in the movie that I thought was just not appropriate for the tone of the movie. Just the way she reacted to it. I was like, Rey wouldn't do that. Rey wouldn't care if he was shirtless. Yeah, I'm a human form, Bamba! <laughs> Same! I was a scout. The fleet recruited me for my skills. Good. On which planet were you born? I'm a Wookiee, can't you tell? Dur Durelia, it's in a remote system. Why? Excellent. Your current age is? Uh, 3,012. Wasn't this all my service records? Yes. The truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. Oh, okay. And what'd you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which Aha! is... Aha! This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Okie dokie. Mind games, right? I mean, it make, I actually appreciate it. Like, it's an interesting, it, it's, a, it's an interesting tactic to try to figure out, like, how I like, at least in stories, right? I don't know if I like it being done to myself, but I like reading about it and, like, seeing it in stories and games, like, seeing some interesting ways to try to figure out a person's characters according to how they react to you. Exactly, Kayuk. You would not have done well. Jedi Council. We are, look at our sword, oh my gosh, the sword is really cool looking too. You're right, I may have to change it back, but I'm, I'm kind of stoked to have the sword, so. Real, oh my gosh, why didn't you tell me that before I bought so many health packs? <laughs> At least I didn't buy grenades. Why is that, why do you need 5,000 or a minimum 2,500? Do I get the lesser companion if I can only pay 2500 Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Like when games make you think about whether you're actually acting like a good person or not? Yeah, totally. Like, I like, like, TV shows and stuff. Like, uh, there was, like, was it called, like, Liar? I don't know what it was. There was one where, you know talks about like body language and how a person reacts to you question is more important than how they actually respond like how what they actually say so i think that kind of stuff's tricksy and cool i say no i couldn't find anything with bastula right behind me persuade for a lesser price okay we found an incomplete star map and mentioned something called star forge this news of a star forge is disturbing action is required but this is fake, Yoda. <laughs> we must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we what? will summon you when we are done. What? What? Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you. I love how he blinks with like I one eye. I consulted our vast like, archives you, yeah. in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council Discount Yoda. Is in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful Well, why tool. are you setting me on their same path? The star map in the ruins 
showed you four uh, who planets. You I could fall, too. But it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. This is exciting. I'm actually, Find this is pretty cool. On Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban. And we believe they will lead you to the star. We're going to go to the Wookiee home world. I'm excited. The Wookiee home world. Oh, what is Yoda's race? It's it's Yoda. It's just the Yoda race. <laughs> Actually, I think I don't think it has a name to be honest. I think we talked about that before. There's no like name for Yoda's race. Which is hilarious to me. Like after all this time, you think somebody would have come up with something. <laughs> Yodish? Yodish! <laughs> it sounds like a very, um, Hebrew name. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to do the councils. We'll punch it. <laughs> punch the ring. No, you don't punch it. <laughs> the Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war. By defections to Malak's cause and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet, if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. It is unknown. Punch the unknown. Oh my gosh. Yaddle. Ooh. Uh, uh, a female Yoda. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Species unknown. I do remember seeing her uh, in the movie and left the High Jedi Council by the time of the Clone Wars. She's cool. Oh wow, she was skilled in Mori Crow, an ancient art that enabled the user to slow the opponent's bodily functions to the point of death. It was, she was originally a sketch for young Yoda, but was later put in the movies as a yaddle, a female member of Yoda's species. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, am I to under, undertake this task alone? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send will accompany you. For there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan and Juhani has also asked to accompany you. Ooh, yay! After long deliberation, we have granted her request. The cat lady. Your honey nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. <laughs> oh, God. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Thanks. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can count on me. I will not fail. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the force be with you. I'll do my best. I'll do my very best. Like no one ever was. Let's go talk to the cat lady. Wait, I guess we can just, uh... Wait, no, I don't want to transit back. I don't think. Yodaman! <laughs> I would travel across the lane. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yoda <Ma. laughs> Oh, no, I'm busy. I'm busy, guy. Oh, 
nalgu chuchut. Polisha punka bola wana chuchut. Yo I don't think the council would want me to speak openly. How do you know the council gave you a mission? I don't trust you. I think Harrison Ford's pretty down with the uh, Star Wars movies. I'm pretty sure he asked to be killed off. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks, guy. I did not play Sabak. I hate card games and games. I'm not good at them. I want to play the actual game, not the side game that they put in there. <laughs> Punch him. He asked for him to be killed in Jedi Return? Really? Like, in the original trilogy? What are you talking about? Oh, wow. Why would he want to die off that soon? I have a sword in my hand, Kayuke. But I also have another one that's an open hand. Oh, wow. That's oddly specific monster. Wait, so... Was that when Jabba the Hutt got a hold of him? Did he want to die then? <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know why he'd want to do that. But then, at least then. I can't, I guess maybe he got sick of it that quick. But I like that they kept him alive, but it, it's made his character more tragic in a lot of ways. The Sith created Tarantac. But they will all the the uh, if it feeds on the force, feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the force. Then I assume Sith would die to it as well. Um, what? What are these? What? What, what makes this, it drinks the blood of people who are strong in the force? What makes it so dangerous? Well, we'll ask it. <laughs> Uh, so specifically goes after Jedi. Ooh, meant to guard the tombs of the Dark Lords. That's so cool. Um, why are you worried about them now? The word tomb is so cool. The tombs of the Dark Lord. Another great hunt. Just gotta go to the Dark Lord tombs. Kill him, issue solved. The Great Hunt? What's that? It is, isn't it? Huddies. Oh wow, mutilated bodies began to be discovered. Yeesh. How long ago was that, though? I don't know. I don't know about that war he mentioned. So the Jedi. Wait. Uh, cost of. Uh, cost. So only the most powerful and cunning ones are left alive now. How exciting. 
Ooh, the Valley of the Sleeping Kings. That's very Egyptian. Is Larry? Shh, let Larry sleep. Wait! I missed what he said! I missed what he said a second ago! Dang it! Um, what did he say before this, this part? They never went to Korriban. So apparently some Jedi fell to the dark side? Like, what? Oh, Korriban is the ancient birthplace of the Sith. The Jedi don't go there. Hmm? What was... What's so special about those three? Yay! Larry managed to type out Lurk. So those three were taught like they were a group? Uh, thanks for the warning. It's only because he's speaking Hutese, which sounds like a slimy language. All right, I'm going to cut it off there. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one.